Why Why do you... Uh, I'm mispronouncing it, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> Nothing. To... What's the difference between between what you grow in, in, in your ranches versus at Totonilco? And why do you prefer that? Have you, co have you considered making a tequila strictly using agave from your ranches? The thing is, when we reopened the distillery, mm -hmm. and we didn't have enough agave for the first production, mm -hmm. because in the first Chinaco production that we did in, that I did in 93, we made a lot of tequila. So I went and I visit all re different regions. Right. And by I, the one that I look this, in my opinion, like the agave from Tamaulipas, was the agave from Atotonico. And that's why I always have used Atotonico agaves. Do you detect the difference though when you use strictly Tamaulipas no. versus Atotonilco? I had my in my productions mm -hmm. numbers. I knew if we were using sixty forty or seventy forty or ninety ten. So you would you would combine oh, both yes. agaves. You wouldn't do strictly just that. No. Have you, why? Because we didn't have enough. I, I guess what I'm asking is, what does it taste like? What, if, if you had enough to make one, let's say just you have one bottle of, let's say T1 from Tamaulipas and T1 using uh, Atotonico, and we did a side-by-side, -side, what are the differences? Or are there a lot Maybe. of similarities and there's no real big difference? No, there's a lot of similarities. Similarities, but, yeah. But I believe that if you go only with Tamaulipas, mm -hmm. It's a little harder. Uh, Gabe, it, it's a little harder on. It's uh, it's a, a fuerte. It's, it's stronger. It's stronger. Right. Okay. So once we we started using some atotonilco agaves with tamaulipas, it's something that you cannot change because you already made a profile for it. Right. Right. Okay. And if it's good. Yeah, if it's not broken, don't fix it, right? 